Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video, um, I'm simply going to talk to you about what PHP is, um, why you should use it, and um, a little bit of uh, information about what websites do use it. So the first thing about PHP is what it stands for. PHP stands for Hypertext Preprocessor. Uh, in fact, the first P is P, so it's PHP Hypertext Preprocessor preprocessor that's what it stands for so we've got a, a recursive acronym um, because we have an acronym inside an, inside another acronym because ori uh, originally PHP stood for personal home page so it's now been changed to stand for PHP hypertext preprocessor with the PHP inside of that still standing for personal home page so what is PHP and uh, why should we use it well PHP is a server-side scripting language. Now, when you open up a, uh, P a PHP file and you type in the code, um, it's not available to view by the uh, user of the website. They cannot right-click and see your code. So it's not like HTML. With HTML being um, a markup language, it's interpreted by the browser. Now, PHP and the code inside of it is uh, interpreted by the web server and compiled server side and then the output of the um, of the application if you like is displayed uh, in HTML if we choose to do so so um, it's basically uh, used to create dynamic content on websites so we're not um, we're, we're essentially creating a program within a website so we're being able to do a variety of different things now let's head over to the um, PHP official website, which is php.net. So if you need any more information, I'm just giving you a bright, brief in, um, overview here. Uh, go over to php.net and uh, you can read some information about PHP as well as news, etc, etc, etc. So um, we've got a little description about here uh, about what is PHP and we've got an introduction, introductory tutorial. Now the great thing about PHP is while you're developing it has a really extensive documentation to it uh, and this is called the manual so we've got a link here to the manual uh, and basically we've got um, um, an, an online manual for lots of different languages um, and you can also uh, download, the doc uh, download the documentation as well and what the manual will do is we can search in here for say function list for example we might search for f open in the functions list and we see now it returns a some information about our function so we can now go down and look at the different parameters or the arguments it takes and we can also look at some examples down here so it's a really really extensive list you can see of uh, user submitted um, examples as well so you can get a really great feel of different functions um, um, not just functions but everything inside PHP from this PHP manual so what kind of websites use PHP and why do they use it Will Facebook, for example, use PHP? What we're doing is with with Facebook, it's a social networking website that's storing lots of data in a database. So what we can do with PHP is we combine PHP with a database system, and we typically do this with MySQL. Uh, and in, certainly in the in the tutorials that I create, I use MySQL because MySQL is one of the widely used and powerful and fastest databases around. So um, MySQL is great to use with PHP for storing data. So Facebook is one of the um, social networking websites that takes advantage of PHP as a whole um, as it's a really really nice language to work with a lot of the syntax and uh, structure is similar to C and it's actually interpreted by C uh, server side as well I think it's C or C yeah probably C uh, but you can obviously prove me wrong on that if you'd like um, I may be wrong but yeah, this is a brief overview, overview of PHP. So if you're thinking about getting started in it, um, follow the tutorials that I've created and um, you can begin to start creating dynamic websites. And you'll actually start to realize how easy PHP is, the, the fundamentals of it anyway. Uh, we can start going into sort of the object-oriented programming side of PHP, which is slightly more difficult because some people uh, struggle with object-oriented programming. So we do have the object-oriented programming um, functionality within PHP uh, and this was added from PHP version 5 I believe in about 2004 so we can use object oriented programming inside PHP as well as recursive um, 
sorry, um, not recursive, um, procedural programming as well, so procedural structure uh, to our code. So that's a brief over overview of PHP. Um, it's a really, really great language to learn, and it's really, really widely used on the web today, so it's definitely worth it.